here with Grace Jisun Kim and Graham Hill, uh, interviewing them about their book, Healing Our Broken Humanity. Um, now, as you can see, my copy is well-loved uh, and a bit battered. So there were two sections that I particularly really loved. So I'm going to ask you some questions about that later. But for now, um, tell me what led you to write this book and how you came to be co-authors. So Graham and I met each other around 2015. Um, he was doing a world tour uh, filming uh, theologians and other scholars around the world. So that's when we met and we kind of asked ourselves what can we work on together in the future and that's how we got into this book. So yeah, within four years we got a book out from the time we met. Yeah. And we were talking about, as we look at Christianity around the globe and some of the lessons that are emerging from what God is doing around the globe, what are some practical ways that churches can put those things into practice in order to renew the church and to heal a broken humanity and to positively impact society? And we decided it would be good to do that together. And there's, there's something nice about writing something together from very different perspectives. So a woman and a man from different ethnicities, different cultural backgrounds, coming from dif with different stories and experiences writing together. Different countries. So yeah, that made a difference. And I think that kind of enriched it. And I'm hoping that others can follow what we're mm. doing. That, uh, you know, it's nice to have one voice, but to have two voices in a book on the same topic, I think it enriched the whole book. What's your biggest dream or your biggest hope for this book? Well, of course, we want people to read it and um, be transformed, be revitalized, um, change their ways of being. So uh, working towards a healing. So if they can practice a bit more hospitality, practice the lamenting, uh, the reconciliation, which is also, these are all not easy things. It's one thing to talk about it, write about it, but to live it out is very difficult. Uh, one of my previous books is called Embracing the Other, and it is really hard to uh, kind of reach out to the stranger and the enemy and embrace them. But Christ showed us uh, how to do it. It just we kind of sometimes refuse and we become lazy. We don't want to do it. We don't want to participate in it because we like to maintain the status quo. Americans love to maintain the status quo. So just keep the woman, you know, under us and the refugees. Don't give them anything, you know. So we love the status quo. But you know, Christ came to overturn the status quo. That's what he did with all of his ministry, reaching out to the Samaritan woman and, and, and healing the lepers and being with the lepers. So we need to re rethink how we are living our lives and our ways of being and work towards our personal healing, our church healing, the community healings. I, I we're, we're hoping that churches and people will be transformed uh, by reading the book. So we believe that love and justice reconciliation and embrace are healing practices and our hope is that as churches embrace these practices that they would bring healing to individuals uh, to families to neighborhoods to the church and more broadly to the world mm -hmm. yeah so and every book has a life of its own so uh, people are uh, appreciating the content and you know people are using it in the churches and I'm glad the Australians are and Americans and Canadians are <laughs> so hopefully it may be translated to different languages so yeah. that other people around that would the world be amazing. Yes. Uh -huh. because that's what we had envisioned that people around the world and you know you just need a few people to kind of change their ways and it gets contagious. You know, our life is so short. Why are we spending so much time destroying and hating and building walls when you can build bridges and um, extend hand and welcome and practice hospitality? Well, thank you both very much for such considered and considerate and thoughtful and I think genuinely really beautiful answers. Mm -hmm. um, it was a real privilege to interview you both today. Thank you so much for doing it from that perspective of your work with women and domestic violence. Thank you. You're very yeah. welcome. Um, so yes, if you haven't had a chance to 
grab a copy yet, um, make sure you read Healing Our Broken Humanity. Um, it's been really beneficial for me personally and in my teaching uh, and in my church community. So thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you.